throws. Burner at wide receiver. Always staying busy. He's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Eagles and the Raiders. All of that and more coming up next. Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation of the National Football League on EA Sports. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Or should I say Dean Olson? Because tight end you doesn't happen without you. And uh, we've got a great matchup here. We've got two of the best at good position in the current game right now. And Mike, when I came into the league, I mean, almost 20 years ago, there was a handful of really elite tight ends. But doesn't it just seem, especially over these last couple of years, every single team, at least the ones that make their mark and find themselves in the playoffs, to have you along this should be a good one we're set and off we go here on ea sports he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the raiders offense set to take over for the first time they'll be let out by their quarterback drafted back in 2019 out of washington state it's gardner Minshew. Coming off a loss last time out, I think the number one goal today, Mike, is he needs to make a bigger impact on the outcome of today's game. Last week, he was not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it was really just a modest performance. He was... Oh, oh and they come after him right away, and Kepney goes on the first play of the game. Mike, you said it. You mentioned just how loud it was, the energy in this building leading up to the opening kickoff, and... With a sack like that on the first play of the game, this crowd's only going to get louder, and man, we can feel it all the way up here in the booth. And he's taken down up past the 35. They get 21 on that one. First down, Vegas. They'll fake the give, and now it's Minshew. Through the contact, it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to be in just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throwing is Minshew. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. He'll try and throw with Minshew. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. This defensive line clearly has a beat on this offense. They've got to find a way to settle their pass protections. If they want to be able to get their quarterback in any sort of established rhythm and timing going forward, they're going to have to do a lot better job protecting them early in this game. That's already two sacks allowed. And no chance to turn up field. He's forced out of bounds after a very short return. So the Philadelphia offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a young man who's making a name for himself, their rookie quarterback. He's coming off a really nice three-touchdown performance in last week's win, Mike, but outside of that one errant throw, he did a really nice job of protecting the ball. He was seemingly in control the entire game. This defense all week, they talked about trying to bait him into making some mistakes. So he's got to be careful about falling into the trap. If he does that, I'll tell you what, I really like their chances. He'll look to throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. And a good job rallying to the football. Holds him just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. Throwing now from the gun. A toss left side caught by his running back. A gain there of 10 yards. Good for an Eagles first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. A 
Think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Back to throw. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. His second grab on this drive. Good for 11 yards, but most importantly, a first down. He'll drop the throw. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Man in motion is Brown. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Cameron Sutton in fourth tackle. Third and long. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. A throw right side is intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. That's interference. Defense. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. They'll look to throw. Quick throw out wide. It's caught. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. Get the ball out of his hand. See it complete. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Like, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. The Raiders' offense about ready to get going on their second possession. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. Back is Minshew. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. He'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. They're going to go play action now with Minshew. Trying to push the ball down the field. It's an interception. Picked off by their rookie first-round pick. So a turnover-filled first quarter has come to an end. What will the second quarter have in store? And we're back in Philly in a moment. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There's a lot of ways for defensive linemen to disrupt the passing game. That's everything about today's modern NFL. How do you disrupt the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable? Of course, sacking him is a great way. But even getting your hands up in those throwing lanes and tipping passes, that is so frustrating for these quarterbacks. Throwing now on first and 10. Throwing over the middle. This one is complete. He is in. Touchdown, Eagles. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. 
look, Mike, I, I don't want to imply that they drew this play up specifically because this is when the league is celebrating National Tight Ends Day. But you got to admit, it's kind of fun seeing him score on this day in particular and join his fellow tight ends who have also scored throughout the league. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This returnable for Wallace. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. On first and 10, it's Minshew. He goes right back to Sutton. You can see it on the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that... And this drive is a disaster. He goes down for a third consecutive time. It's just so hard to get anything going when you're just not confident running your own system and all these early sacks. Yes, they kill drives, but think what it does to the quarterback. The quarterback just can't be confident operating out of the pocket. There's no rhythm, there's no timing, and everything you planned on doing today coming in is out the window. On third and long, it's Minshew. Quickly, they get it into the hands of Williams. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no return for it, Gunner. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for drive number two. He had the touchdown pass earlier, Adding to his season total, you get a look at the NFL leaders in touchdown passes to this point this season. Thrown into a sea of bodies, but it's complete. And he'll be taken down up around the 32-yard line. First and 10. Now they'll set up to throw. Going up top. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. Beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Elliott now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Eagles move out on top, 14 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This returnable for Wallace. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Raiders offense ready to get back at it. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score, as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. Off the play fake, it's Minshew taking a shot downfield for Adams. 
as this offense continues to put anything together and score some points, they need to just take a step back. Then it's okay. We've struggled here in the first half putting points on the scoreboard. Don't worry about chasing points. Let's chase first downs. Let's chase completions. Just start building something small. And oftentimes when you take that approach, it snowballs. And next thing you know, you find your group. To the air on third down, it's Vinci. And this will be incomplete, but there's a flag back in the backfield where the quarterback is. They may have got him after he released the ball. Minshew out of the pistol here. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Minshew now to throw on first and ten. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. They'll come up here on second down and five. From the gun, here's Minshew. That's a short one, caught by Bowers. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. A gain of 16 yards. Good for a Raider first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. And that was a good one there. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball I and mean, he's completing over 60 percent of his passes but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays continue to push the ball downfield hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet and he'll be stopped short of the first down he's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight now a third and two we'll try and throw with Minshew oh there on him in a flash and he's lost the football. Ah, but he'll gather it back in. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. This a 48-yard attempt. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders are on the board just before halftime. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. And those numbers tell a lot of the story of this first half, don't they, Mike? I mean, it's easy to see why he was a central piece in this game plan, and he makes another grab there to add to this growing stat line. Back to throw here to begin the drop. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. That's good for an Eagles. Back to throw. Checking it down, this one is caught. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. They'll look to throw yet again. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line.
So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. Look him up on a second down and eight. He'll drop to throw. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. They'll look to throw. continues what a first half he's had greg a third touchdown pass with that one mike what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in i think if i'm this defensive coordinator me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan they obviously felt good about it coming in but i don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far the extra point by elliott is good and the Eagles move out to a 21 to three advantage. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This returnable for Wallace. And he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line. The Raiders offense gonna get it one final time in this first half. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. They put Adams in motion. Throwing on first and ten, it's Minshew. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. Jalen Carter out of Georgia makes the tackle. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for the Raiders. Time here in South Philly, and the Eagles are on top. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Michael. We'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the one o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll begin just outside Washington at Commanders Field in Landover, and it is the Chargers who have the lead in the second quarter. Devin Duvernay, a touchdown reception. From there, we head to the Big Easy. Check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And they trail the visiting Falcons in that one at halftime. Michael Penix with a touchdown pass. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home in Akershire Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Roman Wilson, a touchdown reception. Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Very one-sided first half of action. 
Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Eagles offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. And he's been as involved as anyone in the league in the middle part of the season. The NFL leader in receiving yards to this point. Right away, they'll set up to throw. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Now I think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the Raiders. Out of the gun. He'll throw. Got a man. It's A.J. Brown brings it in. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. So far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll look to throw again. That one, take it in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Elliott, good on the extra point. And the Eagles stretch it out, leading now by the score of 28 to three. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to get back at it. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here. And everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's and he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. To the left side, and Adams has it. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Play action now with Minshew. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. 
I think anytime you find yourself trailing in the second half, Mike, all offensive play callers fight the urge to chase those points. They tend to get a little bit over eager. They tend to push the envelope sometimes a little too far. Those turnovers, they only make the deficit grow, not shrink. Now, there's a lot of football left, Mike. They can still get back into this. They just have to be a little bit smarter about which risks you're willing to take. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're trying to keep it going. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Up the middle they go. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Now they'll set up to throw. There's that man again. Another catch. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Redzo now. He'll drop to... And he's going to be taken down back at the 20-yard line. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. Touchdown of the game. This one, number seven on the year. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ball game. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Eagles add on to their already sizable lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This returnable for Wallace. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and Gardner Minshew going to take over once again. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. Set to go now on first and ten. Back is Minshew. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Minshew. Throw over the middle. Brought in by Adams. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. In motion is Myers. Trying to pick this one up on the ground. And he's got nowhere to go. The defensive front controlling the line of scrimmage there. That is going to bring up fourth down. The Raiders have their punt team out there. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today.
So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll send their tight end left. This drive will start on the ground. A oh, short game there to about the 22. Back to the ground. He'll get it again. And he will not be able to get free. Picking up only a yard. Now... It's third down. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. His fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. And that throw just seems like the cherry on top of what has been an incredible day for this quarterback. And I wouldn't be surprised here late if we get to see the backup after this drive. And there's one guy in the stadium that has earned the right to stand on the sideline and relax. It's this quarterback. Handoff here, up the middle, and a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll stick with him again. And he'll take this up, working towards the first down mark. He gets five, but is just a little short of the first down. Trying to get to the edge. He will not get there. As a matter of fact, he was taken down behind the line. And that brings up fourth down. Third and short. You think the defense has everybody packed in there real tight. So as a play caller, you're thinking, all right, let's give my running back a chance to stretch and cut. This defense was ready for all of it. They string them out wide, nowhere to cut, take them down for a loss. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. From the gun, here's Minshew. He'll check this down to the running back. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Minshew going to look to throw. That's to the right side and caught by Bowers. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another set. Following the play, we've got a Raider who is shaken up down there. That not a welcome development here late in a one-sided game. They send Sutton in motion. They'll throw out of the gun. Checking it down, this one is caught. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. That, not a welcome development here late in a one-sided game. Third and long. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be intercepted by Darius Slay. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. I think you chalk this one up like to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. First and 10 now from the 36. Now give on the ground, and he is crushed. 
in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Now a give up the middle. And that won't help a lot. Manages a yard for that run. Third and long. Coming up. Back to throw. That's caught. It's Will Shipley. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. No gain on the play. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. On fourth down, it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles. This will be from 56 yards away. And he missed it. It's no good. And they are not able to add on to their big lead. They're just trying to extend the lead here, and this is definitely one they're going to want to have back. The visitors' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll begin with terrific starting field position. It gets going with first and ten. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He will air this out, looking for something. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. A big play there for the Raiders. It's a gain of 34. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get it to his tight end, Rock Bowers. And it'll bring up second down. They'll look to throw yet again. We'll get this complete to his tight end, Bowers. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not... And that is Hunt in the end zone. He's in. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, Raiders. Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. He's got it, and the Raiders will get just a bit closer. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now return, coming from the seven. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Here's first and ten. They'll begin here on the ground. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. They'll stay on the ground. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. So it's a win here for the Eagles. They take care of business here at home. It's a game they were expected to win. They have no problems in the end as they cruise to victory.
So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Eagles are winners, as we say, so long from South Philly.